That's no moon, it's an ocean world, and it could greatly expand the number of potentially habitable worlds thought to exist. Published in the journal Icarus this week is a new paper that reveals that Mimas, the innermost moon of Saturn and a lookalike of the Death Star space station in Star Wars, may have a liquid internal ocean, if it's true then the tiny moon, which measures 123 miles in diameter, joins a bevy of other ocean worlds in the outer solar system that are thought to contain underground oceans. However, Mimas is special, so special that it could greatly increase the chances of habitable worlds existing elsewhere in our galaxy. Ocean worlds typically moons but also dwarf planets, with underground seas beneath layers of rock appear to be relatively common in our solar system. They are also referred to as interior water ocean worlds, EWOWs. Other EWOWs in the solar system are thought to include however, Mimas could be a special case. If Mimas has an ocean, it represents a new class of small, stealth ocean worlds with surfaces that do not betray the ocean's existence said lead author Dr. Eliza Roden, a specialist in the geophys. The discovery pivots on the detection of a curious libration, a wobble, in the rotation of Mimas. The newly analyzed archive data comes from NASA's probe Cassini, which orbited Saturn from 1997 through 2017. Such an oscillation often indicates a geologically active world that's able to support an internal ocean. Because the surface of Mimas is heavily cratered, we thought it was just a frozen block of ice, said Rodin. Ewals, such as Enceladus and Europa, tend to be fractured and show other signs of geologic activity. Turns out, Mimas' surface was tricking us. So what's the explanation? Rodin thinks that tidal heating within Mimas must be just enough to keep any underground ocean from freezing, but not enough to melt its icy shell. The team's models indicate that the icy shell on Mimas could be 14 to 20 miles thick over a liquid ocean.